There's uh, many ways to access uh, bridges and structures. Uh, some bridges are set up um, more traditionally where we have to use mechanical access equipment and ladders and bucket trucks and things like that. Um, and, and many engineering firms can do that, uh, but where my niche lies and our group uh, lies is we use uh, rope access techniques on bridges that are more suited for climbing. My crews and I, we inspect bridges uh, all around the United States and uh, sometimes help our Canadian offices uh, to look at them for uh, safety to make sure they're safe for the traveling public. We are structural engineers on rope, so we, we are engineers that know the, the background of the structures, how they're built, and we know how the materials deteriorate over time. We can specifically tell a client how to repair something and how to keep it in service uh, for longer. Our climbing techniques are, are fast and efficient, and uh, we don't need any traffic control, which costs a lot of money to set up. We don't need mechanical equipment, which are large, you know, large pieces of equipment to put in the roadways and stuff. We don't utilize that, uh, so we're out of the way uh, and uh, we get it done faster and cheaper. Most of our clients are uh, departments of transportation and then uh, we have a lot of private clients. We've been doing work for uh, railroads um, and, and other infrastructure holders or owners, uh, tower owners, tank owners, um, things like that. Uh, people that have infrastructure that are, that are hard to access and can utilize our structural engineering services along with our rope access services um, to evaluate their structures. So really what we do is we try to help the, pl the client plan uh, for maintenance and rehabilitation over the life of the structure uh, to make sure that uh, their investment, um, they get the full life out of their investment. A typical climbing team is a minimum of four people, uh, but they can. we've had climbing teams up to eight people. For instance, we just inspected a bridge in West Virginia that took a team of eight people. Uh, we had eight different engineers from five different Stantec offices around the United States and Canada. It was our, it was our A team uh, climbing team, you should say. And it took eight of us seven days to climb a bridge in West Virginia over the Ohio River. Safety. Uh, why we're out in the field is the number number one thing we think about. Bridge inspection uh, can be hazardous because you are working in traffic. Uh, you know, you're you're out and about. There's a, a you know a, a lot of things going on both uh, physically uh, and with you know the weather weather environments. Uh, it could be very cold. It could be very hot. It could be w windy and rainy. Um, but we take a lot of precautions to ensure our safety. You know, right now we have a 100% safety record. Uh, but we have a very detailed process of assembling site safety plans. Um, we have team meetings on how we would go about, uh, how we're going to go about and climbing and repelling uh, each certain element. Um, we talk about each situation you could get in uh, doing that and then how, what a rescue would entail if someone got in trouble uh, in some certain situations. You are hanging by ropes. Um, but as long as you know what you're doing and you know the gear and you, and you uh, have the right training, it's, it's probably safer than walking across the street. The work we do is very exciting and uh, there's always different challenges day by day. One day I might be in the office uh, checking a report or checking calculations and the next day I might be utilizing you know, rope access techniques to uh, inspect bridges in you know, Nevada or Colorado or West Virginia or even Canada. And uh, we work very close together and so uh, we, we really have formed a good bond uh, with our clients and within the group. So that's, that's why I stay at Stantec.